The biggest uh, um, test for me right now, I think the whole world, have, a lot of people have heard about it, is the death of my son and my brother. And uh, this has done something to me that I've never felt in my life. I've never ever been through this challenge. You know what I mean by challenge, the feelings and the thought process and the amount of uh, reflection on life like now. Um, really, really makes you understand the word inna lillah wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Suddenly, nothing around you is uh, worth um, stressing too much about or, uh, you know, spending too much time about it. Everything around you now, you look at a way of how to turn it into something beneficial for your, for others, for yourself and for the hereafter. And money didn't mean much after that. My brother, my brother was, uh, it's the first time I talk now about Hamza about it. In, I like in, in, in a bit of detail, he he had a business growing for him, and uh, I think he was going to become a millionaire in a couple of years. He was so successful, and only only because of his character, people loved him. Yeah, he's a really outgoing, yeah. beautiful to get along with. He was a very honest person. And my son, you know, he, so he died in front of me, my son while I was giving him CPR and he was very peaceful I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this word thanks has more of a meaning right now thank you O oh Allah for the past that you gave me thank you O oh Allah for the past that you prevented from me the bad things thank you Allah for giving my son and my brother and teaching me love and now connecting me to something else thank you Allah for the future that you will give me and the things that you weren't going to keep you were going to keep away from me in the future because I know that you know that will harm me. Thank you, Allah. You've take, given me my son and taken him for a reason, a purpose that you only know within your wisdom, and I rely on you. It has increased my iman, of course, and people around us. Akhir Abu Hamza, two moments in my life, I think, uh, I dream about them all the time now, and I don't think there's anything that's more important than them. The moment my son's soul escaped, and my brother's, and the moment I buried them. It's like death had no respect for me. Who cares if you're his father? Who are you? This is not your business. This is not your business. How I felt. It's like, don't you see I'm here? I'm his dad. You're, he doesn't belong to you, Bila. He belongs to Allah. No, no, no. And if you do trust in Allah, now's the time for you to prove it to yourself. What are you going to think about Allah right now? Allah is Arham al Maybe, maybe this was the best time for them to leave. Maybe I stayed for a reason, Allah And the moment that they were buried, I was in the grave and I felt like bashing my head on the walls. I wanted to die with them. I looked at my son, I said, in my hands, how can you put your son in the ground? How dare you? You're the father. You're supposed to be protecting him. You're supposed to, you know, you promised him things. I promised my son, dad, and I'm not always going to be there for you, so I'm going to teach you to stand on your own two feet. But then I remembered Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And as he was sitting, standing in the grave with his son, and I said the dua, and Ainu Tadma, the eyes tear, Wal Qalbu Yahzan, Naha Isarin, Ala Firaqika Ya Ibrahim, to your departing, O Ibrahim, Wal Anakulu Illa Mayrudi Rabbana, Wal Ani Say What Pleases Our Lord. You know what's funny, Abu Hamza, what's ironic is that. Uh, I said the exact words of the Prophet وسلم, even the name. His son's name was Ibrahim. 
And I could imagine Rasulullah feeling what I'm feeling right now, crying the way I'm crying. And I got stronger a little bit then. I said, Ya Allah, unite us again with Rasulullah. And then I had to walk away, Abu Hamza. You have to walk away. 